what is a charge, and what are its properties? Let's answer that, before we dive deeper into unfolding the facts, if charge is fundamental or not. Charge usually refers to electric charge in chemistry and physics, which is a conserved feature of some subatomic particles that affects their electromagnetic interaction. Charge is a physical attribute that causes matter in an electromagnetic field to experience a force. Electric charges can be either positive or negative. The matter is deemed neutral or uncharged if there is no net electric charge present. Like charges repel each other. For example, two positive or negative charges. Charges of opposite sign, that are positive and negative, attract each other. An atom is made up of electrons, protons and neutrons. An electron is a negatively charged component of an atom. Electrons exist outside and around the nucleus of an atom. When compared to the mass of a neutron or proton, each electron carries one unit of negative charge and has a modest mass. A proton is an atomic nucleus component having a mass of 1 and a charge of 1. The number of protons in an atom of a given element is known as its atomic number. Nucleons are made up of protons and neutrons, and they are located in the atomic nucleus together. Lastly, neutrons are neutrally charged particles of an atom. There are three important properties of an electric charge. Additivity, conservation, and quantization. Now, the question in hand is is charge fundamental? To answer this question, no, electric charge is not fundamental. But, the electric current is however considered to be fundamental. Let us understand why. Because current is measurable, it is used as a fundamental quantity rather than charge. Charge isn't something that can be measured. You must define one kerm of charge if you want to use charge as the fundamental quantity. The purpose of this definition is to explain how one can obtain one coulomb charge in real life. What is the location of this item? The ampere, which is the standard unit of current, is the constant current that, if maintained in two straight parallel wires of infinite length and negligible circular cross-section, and placed one meter apart in vacuum, produces a force of 2 times 10 to the power of minus 7 newtons per meter of length between them. As a result, we were able to obtain unit current, and current became a fundamental unit. The charge held by a wire carrying one ampere current in one second is known as Coulomb. So, whereas current is derived from charge in theory, it is charge that is derived from current in practice. Another possible explanation that goes like this. The dynamic process of electromagnetic induction is how electricity presents itself. If any process is static, charge is meaningless in the sense that no energy storage or transfer is taking place. When an external source of energy induces electromagnetic fields, however, a flow of charge or otherwise current is created, and the magnitude of the current is determined by the rate of induction and the energy given by the external activity that caused it. As a result, Current rather than charge is chosen as the basic quantity because the latter is dynamic, while the former is static. Also the amount of fundamental charge involved would be too large to fit on instruments, so amperes are more practical. However, there are already a lot of people in the world of science who consider charge to be fundamental. Nevertheless, current is considered to be fundamental and not charge as of now. However, with moving time and increasing technologies, and changes in definitions, the possibility of charge being fundamental is pretty high. Do not forget to like, comment and share if you liked the video. Subscribe for more such interesting content. Thank you.